Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for October 10th. October 10th is the 283rd day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 284th in leap years, with 82 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is celestial. Celestial is an adjective that means positioned in or relating to the sky or outer space as observed in astronomy, belonging or relating to heaven, supremely good. Celestial comes to us from late Middle English via Old French and Latin before that. And with that, we're going to start with the birthday of Henry Cavendish, born October 10th, 1731. He was an experimental and theoretical chemist and physicist. He discovered hydrogen, which he referred to as inflammable air. He also calculated the density of the earth, an experiment which has come to be known as the Cavendish experiment. He lived to the age of 78. Yikes, it's still hurricane season and on October 10th, 1780, the great hurricane of 1780, blasted through the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, and Bermuda, and most likely East Florida and some U.S. states. The official Atlantic Hurricane Database only goes back to 1851, so we can really only estimate the magnitude and track of this storm based on sort of a forensic investigation, but it's estimated to most likely have been in the range of a Category 5 hurricane. Somewhere between 20 and 30,000 people lost their lives in this hurricane, making it the deadliest Atlantic hurricane on record. The United States Naval Academy opened in Annapolis, Maryland on October 10, 1845 with an enrollment of 50 students. Triton, the largest moon of the planet Neptune, was discovered on October 10, 1846 by English astronomer William Lassell. The Great Chicago Fire, which started on October 8, 1871, lasted all day yesterday and into today, October 10, 1871. On October 10, 1933, a United Airlines Boeing 247 was destroyed by sabotage, the first such proven case in the history of commercial aviation. The Partial Nuclear Test Ban Treaty came into effect today, October 10, 1963. In 1964, the Tokyo Summer Olympics opening ceremony was the first to be relayed live by satellite. Summer Olympics in October. That's what it says. The Outer Space Treaty came into force on October 10, 1967. Some of the main points of this treaty were prohibition of placing of nuclear weapons in space, limiting the use of the moon and all other celestial bodies to peaceful purposes only, and establishing that space shall be free for exploration and use by all nations, and that no nation may claim sovereignty of outer space or any celestial body. The Outer Space Treaty did not ban military military activities within space, military space forces, or the weaponization of space with the exception of the placement of weapons of mass destruction in space. It's mostly a non-armament treaty offering limited and ambiguous regulations to newer space activities such as lunar and asteroid mining. October 10, 1985, U.S. Navy fighter jets intercepted Italian cruise ship hijackers. This is in reference to the hijacking of the Italian cruise ship Achille Lauro. We mentioned that the other day as well. Cracklin' Rosie by Neil Diamond hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100 on October 10, 1970. With a catchy tune, good musical arrangement and orchestration, and Neil Diamond's velvet voice, Cracklin' Rosie may or may not be about an actual woman, an archetype, or a brand of wine. We're not sure. <laughs> Stories abound. But it is an entertaining song. His first number one hit on the Billboard Hot 100 and his third million-selling single, Cracklin' Rosie, number one, October 10, 1970. Link in the description. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. 
If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include the link to my blog page that is called No Really. <laughs> you can also find me on Rumble, Parlor, BitChute, and Gitter. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.